analysis for relevant investment decision making is Globe Telecom. But first, let us have an understanding of the investment climate in the Philippines with regards to the telecommunication industry. The telecommunication industry or sector has been liberalized, meaning more foreign investors are partnering with local companies, which is evidenced by Globe Telecom itself for they are co-owned by Ayala Corporation and Singapore Telecom Incorporated. In, 2000, in 2006, there has been a decline in the telecommunication industry. But during 2012 and 2013, the, the telecom industry has been dominating the Philippine industry. The Philippine government promotes transparency and free enterprise. The Philippine government believes that the economic development is best led by the private sector. Most businesses are owned by family or small groups of individuals, such as Ayala Corporation owning Globe, owning Globe Telecom. Last but not the least, Filipinos recognize the highly proven technologies that foreign investors are bringing into our country. Globe offers communication solutions that provides the needs of the customer for cost efficiency, security, and mobility. So it has three major brands, which is Globe Postpaid, Globe Prepaid, and VM. For the Globe Postpaid, it offers postpaid plans, such as the Globe Prepaid plans and others. So for the Globe Prepaid, it offers the network mainstream of the market. So on the other hand, for the TM, it offers uh, the value efficiency of the market. I will discuss the three qualitative factors of this industry. The first one is the technology. Globe offers free gadgets for every subscription of their posting likes. The second one is the social cultural. Globe offers uh, communications by their calls, messages, mobile data, and broadband, broadband networks. Lastly is the politics. Politics may affect the qualitative factors of this industry by the new platforms of the newly elected government officials. Here are the fundamental indicators of Globe Telecom. We have the price to earnings ratio which is 17.34, the price to sales ratio which is 2.448, and the price to book ratio of 8.76%, profit margin of 14.12%, and debt to assets of 68.15%. Judging by these ratios, Globe Telecom is not a good company to invest in with regards to fundamental analysis. Why? Because although the price to earnings ratio met the required 15 to 18 index, and the, the price to sales ratio is less than 3, and the price to book ratio is less than 1, the profit margin of Globe Telecom is only 14.12%, which must be 20% or 30%. And the debt to asset ratio is 68.15%, not meeting the requirement of 50% or less. So we are going to discuss the technical analysis of the Globe Telecom. So the general trend is downward, while the short term trend is upward. So it had a break up last March 14th, and there's a price facilitation since it comes from narrowing to widening. From the month of February, the RSI of Globe Telecom is in neutral zone, while in March 14, the market is in overbought region, which is the sign of bullishness. So under the ADX, the green line is above the red line, which means it is a sign of bullishness, and also there are more buyers than sellers. And the MACD, the red line represents the signal where the black one is the average. From this, we can imply that the market is in bullishness. And lastly, under the also, the green force is above the zero line, which means it is a sign of bullishness. And overall, through analyzing this chart using the technical analysis, we can imply that the current investors of Globe Telecom will just hold their investments, while the potential investors will now prepare to buy new investments in Globe. And that's the end of our presentation. I am Adrian Rose Tien Parnashan, and I am Maria Carmela Joyce Viva Carista, and I'm Maria Princess Marturo. Thank you!
and have a nice day.